Hi and welcome to the handover video for the uh, Tucson SE Connect model. So obviously you get uh, two keys with the car. The lock padlock obviously locks the car. Unlock padlock locks all the uh, unlocks all the doors and the boots just with one press. So before we get in, uh, the seat controls. You've got this lever here that you can pump the seat up or down. This little round circle there, that's the adjustable lumbar support for the driver. And then you've got the bar underneath the seat there to which you pull up to move the seat backwards and forwards. Right, we'll just get in the vehicle. Now, obviously starting procedure, you need the key. And then you must fully depress the clutch and then turn the key to start it up. Okay, I'll just turn everything down so we can... Uh... Right, so then, uh, the major controls on the vehicle then. So in the driver's armrest you've got controls for all the electric windows, the central locking, mirrors, so left or right, that's your touch pad you use to uh, adjust the uh, the mirrors, and there's a little button at the side here that'll bring the wing mirrors in and out. On the dashboard to the uh, right hand side you've got your headlight levels, normal setting is zero. You've got stability traction control, that's on by default, great safety aid, should be no need for you to turn that off. And then also this car's got stop start technology, so again if you wanted to deactivate that you just press that where, until that light is lit, but it does default to on every time you start the car. So if you want to turn it off you have to press that every time you start the car. On the round steering wheel, your horn is anywhere in the centre here. On the uh, right hand stalk, you've got the controls for your cruise control and speed limiter, your trip computer, and your uh, lane departure lane assist. On the opposite side, you've got all your controls for your audio controls and your Bluetooth. Now, with the uh, lane departure, as you can see, up in the top corner here, it's telling you your stop start feature is on and the lane departure system is on. So if you want to turn the lane departure system off, just press and hold for about uh, four or five seconds and then that turns the lane departure system off. That's how you turn that on or off. While we're looking at the instrument panel, you've got obviously your rev counter, you've got your uh, speedo and then obviously in the middle here is your information guide. So again, you can actually change that by pressing this button here. So every time I press that, you'll see it go through the different screens. And with each of those screens, you've got submenus and you use this up or down to go into the submenus. So if I just go close that one, so if I go up or down, you can see it's got all the trip information, digital speedo, and again you can do that to every sub-menu until you can you can actually decide what you want to display in there. Um, you've got your average MPG displayed down there, the car's done 11 miles, delivery mileage, and you've got 80 miles of fuel in the tank, and as you can see you've got your engine temperature and your fuel tank gauge just there as well. Now on this car you've also got automatic lights, so again you can just set that to automatic and the car will uh, do everything for you. Uh, you've also got high beam assist, so when you're driving at night you can put the car on high beam and if it senses uh, you coming up behind another car or another car coming towards you, it will automatically dip your headlights and then when you pass that car and the car's gone past it will again put it back up to full beam for you. Your rear fog light, this inner band here, so you just twist it down to put your fog light on, twist it down again to turn it off. On the opposite stalk you've got your uh, wipers, so again you've also got a, an automatic setting so you can leave it on that and this will adjust the sensitivity of the sensor, to, of the sensor. so most sensitive, least sensitive. And your twisty bit on the end, that's your rear wash wipe. To wash the windscreen you pull the stalk back towards the steering wheel, to wash the rear you push the stalk away from the steering wheel. And if you need to adjust the steering wheel, little lever on the uh, left hand side here, just turn that down. Uh, you can obviously move the steering wheel up and down, in and out, and then tighten it back up again before you drive away. Coming to the main sort of centre console, you've got the hazard lights right at the top there. And then we've got your uh, heating control, so you've got dual climate control with this car. So again, 
you can increase or decrease the temperature or the passenger can do theirs independently you can just press automatic in which case the car will look after everything for you or you can actually decrease or increase the fan speed you can actually decide where you want the air to be directed to you can give the control to the driver so his does both sides you've got the what we call diffuse so again all that does is open the vents all across the top here so that it's a nice gentle breeze coming into the vehicle you've also got a front demist so again when the uh, windscreen is then clear press that and it goes back to its previous settings you've also got your heated screen heated rear screen and heated door mirrors below there you've got uh, USB you've got a charging USB and a normal power socket there and then you've got uh, obviously six-speed manual gearbox so uh, as you can see little collar you need to bring up to select reverse reverse is across and forward and as soon as you select reverse of course your rear parking camera becomes operative behind the gear selector you've got your uh, electronic parking handbrake so obviously you pull it up to uh, apply the handbrake and to take the handbrake off foot on foot brake and press that down okay just put the handbrake back on again you've also got auto hold facility so I just press that on as you can see that display just down there so with the auto hold then as you're driving you can have that on all the time uh, if you were to stop the car using the foot brake then the auto hold would turn from white to green when it's turned green the car is holding itself so you can actually take your foot off the brake and then as soon as you start to apply the accelerator and start releasing the clutch the, the uh, brakes will release and away you go All right. now our infantainous system so again you've got uh, satellite navigation you've got uh, obviously uh, digital radio and everything like that so to turn the system on or off you've got this button here so if you want the radio displayed so we can obviously decrease the volume using the steering wheel controls or you've got the buttons here that you can use and again you can just go through and choose the radio stations you want to save so we can go all the way and you can save as many as you like We'll go to the usual BBCs. So, for example, if you want Radio 1, so you can star that as a favourite. Go to Radio 2, we'll have that as a favourite. Radio 3, Radio 4, we'll have a bit of Radio Shropshire as well. So as you can see, as I'm choosing them, it's storing them in your favourites there. So what that means is that you can go up or down your favourites just by moving this up or down. And as you can see, it will go through your favourite radio stations that you've stored. Okay. Now, uh, with the navigation, you can just press map. And obviously it will display whereabouts you are. Okay. To set a destination, you just go to nav, search and then you just start entering the uh, the address so either by postcode or by the full address so if I just put the postcode in for the dealership which is S only one S <laughs> Y1 that's a space for a B and then OK there you go Battlefield Road I'll just highlight that as you can see it brings everything up on there set as destination calculating the route and as you can see I start guidance okay now you can increase the navigation volume by pressing that little speaker there there we go and then once it's set just click outside the box and it uh, disappears if you want to stop the guidance you can see the little box there stop guidance if I press that that then obviously gets rid of the guidance for you now if I press the little house in the corner if I just flick my finger it'll bring that back that gets you back to the home channel and this is where you've got the various other screens so you've got your phone, phone projection so again you can connect your phone via the USB cable and I have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto uh, all on the system 
you've also got uh, blue link so again you can pair your phone connect your phone to the car so it'll tell you how many miles of fuel are in the tank whether the car is locked or or not uh, where the car is parked uh, all on your smartphone so you do need to download to your smartphone the Hyundai Blue Link app to be able to uh, to do that. Or say you can just leave it on map or just leave it on radio um, and you can have whatever display uh, you like on there. Okay. If you want to turn the radio off, just press that button there. If you want to turn the whole screen off, press and hold and it just turns the whole screen off. If I just turn it back on, just go to setup and if I go to display screensaver and then if I choose digital clock okay so now when I turn the system fully off it'll display the time and date for you in the uh, glove box there is the locking wheel nut key for the alloy wheels and there's your handbook and service book and everything all in there for you you've got your auto dimming rear view mirror and up here you've got your SOS button so again this car is equipped with live services what that means is if you are involved in an accident uh, and the airbags are deployed it will automatically call the emergency services and everything for you or obviously uh, if you uh, if you need to summon assistance you can actually flick that down and press the SOS button as well and it will call um, the emergency services and that for you now I'll just have a quick look outside the vehicle, so uh, the fuel filler cap, that is located on the passenger rear and uh, as long as the car is unlocked, all you need do is just give it a quick press and it pops open and again normal unleaded fuel in there and we'll have a look in the boot obviously tonneau cover, keeping everything nicely out of sight as you can see really good size uh, boot under the boot floor there you've got your tyre inflation kit as well as some additional storage space and the rear seats if you decide you want to uh, drop those down then the uh, the handle to do that is just at the base of the seat here so just pull that up and obviously they drop down for you like that We'll just uh, put this back up in its uh, place. In the rear as well, as you can see, you've got two USB charging ports. So there we have it. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the uh, look at the uh, Tucson SE Connect model. And uh, really hope you enjoy your new Tucson.